story mission. Or event mission, I guess. Okay. Well, she actually has some emotion in that. How have you been? Is life in Jinjo treating you well? You know I'm here if you ever need anything. Oh, Yang Yang, what's there to be shy about? If you want to see Rover, just tell her. So, what have you been up to these past few days? Feeling lonely without us around? No. Although I'm gonna lie, 1.1 was really long. Because, like, they extended it, right? It's kind of a nice beanbag thing stuff. Cool. It'll be the moon chasing festival in a few days. Though we celebrate this festival every year in Huanglong, given everything that has happened, this year's moon chasing festival in Zhenzhou is sure to be quite special. Oh, I wonder, like, when in the timeline this is. traditions you won't find anywhere else like tell you and veil folks go there a few days before the festival to write their wishes onto paper then hang them on branches or toss them into moon tree lodge they say wishes made during these days are sure to come true works like a charm want to give it a go all you gotta do is write down your wish real simple yang yang baija and i are already here oh the 1.0 squad <laughs> back See ya later. Okay. Ooh. An in game cutscene. Oh my god. Off oh, to this village. Man, I remember. I remember this village. But this is where these flowers are. To level up rover. I've been here a couple times, I'd say. Oh. Hello. Hey, over here! Where have you been lately? <laughs> Did you miss us? But this game looks so good. It's so unlucky that I can't play 120 FPS because it has to be a, like a 30 series or 40 series in video. Oh my god. How stupid is that? Why not 20 series, man? What's the worst that can happen? Okay. Oh, this is after Mount Firmament. Interesting. So, so yeah. you mean that big Mount Firmament thingy that shocked all of Jinzhou? Uh, no, wait. That shocked all of Wang Long was all because of you? Rover yes. Today yet again. Ah, oh, man. Now, people hating too much on like. I don't know how this game looks and stuff. I don't know. Okay. Cool. But well, this game is good. Uh... Yeah, I saved the day. I mean, you don't need to know who else was involved. <clears throat> sure, there was no other two big players. Our Sentinel and the Jinjo Magistrate have resumed their duties. Jinjo will have peace and prosperity once more. Why is why are Baiji's lines always like different? <laughs> yes, a rover and the Sentinel did give you certain no flame about your memory loss. While there's still much to uncover, at least we're on the right track. At long last, we can finally have some fun. Hey, what better time to celebrate than the Moon Chasing Festival, right? You, me, Yan Yang, and Baija. The four of us will have a great time munching on treats and enjoying looking at the full moon. And let's not forget about the Moonlit Fair. It's exclusive to Chincho, happening only on the night of the festival. There's so much to eat, drink, play, and see. Wait till I show you the biggest lantern show of the fair. I know a spot that has the perfect view. That's a wonderful idea. Let's enjoy the festival together. I'm sure there'll be plenty of interesting things to pique your interest. Everyone in Jinjo will be there. There's a high chance we'll run into some familiar faces. Okay. Then it's a deal. Mark my words. With us around, you'll be in for a moon chasing festival you'll remember for life. 
But the apps on Chisha though, gan nang yun. Shoot! We got so distracted with everything else, I almost forgot about your wish for the wishing tree. It's a huge deal. <laughs> not my wish. You won't want to miss it. I will not miss it. That's right. Remember what I told you about wishes made under the wishing tree coming true? There are stories of it flying around, especially in recent years. The wishes people make on the eve of the moon chasing festival seem to come true in one form or another. I wonder if they change the Yang Yang's, some of Yang Yang's land in uh, the 1.0 story. For the festival and a perfect moonlit fair. <laughs> oh, is she blushing? I wonder. And guess what? The rain stopped and the moon was full and bright. Exactly. I thought I'd try my luck, but it actually happened. Right, Yang Yang will keep fine though, still. Perhaps just a pleasant coincidence. The moon chasing festival. She's the first wife and the last wife. Coincidences. Maybe there's something to the wishing tree's magic after all. Or maybe there's a mysterious hero inside the wishing tree, making our dreams come true. Just like you. You save the world without anyone noticing. If you're not in the next season of Hero Plays, I'm out. All right, better get to it before we Oh, I skipped an animation. Again. Oops. The wishing tree is just up ahead. Off you go. Guys, not going. We've already made our wishes. Bro, what is the rover like? Oh, it's mine for the moon uh, fair to draw in a huge crowd. Why should look like that? have a fantastic time. As for Yang Yang. She wished for endless happiness and happy reunions for all families. Oh, by she, uh, eh, she's not really into wishes. I mean, go Don't figure, me. I guess. I tend not to make wishes, but if I did, it would probably be similar to Yang Yang's. There, you're the last one left. Oh, and don't forget about Abby. I'm sure the little guy doesn't want to miss out. Rise and shine. You really have to? Who's there? What's going on? Make a wish at the wishing tree. Make a wish. I'm tired. Just make one for me. I want lots of goodies to eat. I don't ever want to be hungry again. Ugh. Okay, go back. Yeah. Well, what did Abby say? No. Well, after you finished at the wishing tree, come see I will not make their wish. Shizia and I will be helping out with preparations. <laughs> I'll be over at Qingxi's moon shooter stall. It's not fully set up yet, but I can give you a sneak peek. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like she's wearing like a dress underneath like the dress? Kind of weird. Wait, I didn't see how she attacks. Yo, that looks sick, though, no? Oh my god, and her ulti! I just remembered. Oh, we need to check that out. That's gonna go crazy. Moon chasing festival. Wishes. Moon chasing festival. Wishes. 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 This guy's high off wishes. A robot? She has emotion? Wishes. What the robot do? Seems to be malfunctioning. Can't tell who left it here. I should try asking around. But our rover is so fine. Every time. <laughs> Why is she wearing that? My good. Crazy. Excuse me. Have you seen this robot before? Do you know where it's from? It's acting a bit strangely. 
Is that how you would say that? Isn't just acting a bit strange? Uh, it looks like one of those robots from the Moon Tree Lodge. One of its parts must be broken. We have found this Moon Tree Lodge. It's like the wishing well under the wishing tree. People toss their hopes and dreams in there and poof. <laughs> Before you know it, someone makes them come true. You can even say it's part of the wishing tree. But wishes made at the lodge are more public. It's up to the wisher if they want to share. Anyhow, I saw that robot hovering around there earlier. Maybe that's where you should start your search. Thanks. The Moon Tree Lodge. <laughs> Might as well drop by if it's at the wishing tree. Might as well pick up some of these flowers since we're here. I'm glad I finally used this place because like, it was so atmospheric and all that. There was just like nothing here. Fetching data. Error. Analysis failed. Patty. Long. Wishes. Danger. Xiang Li. Help. Help. Oh, it's this guy. I gotcha. Something seems to have. The silver wolf of water and waves. Care of it. One moment. Oh, this guy's face looks. Different run onboard diagnostics. Command initiator Xian Li Yao. Authentication confirmed. Performing onboard diagnostics number two three one. Onboard diagnostics failed. Feltering wishes. Beep beep. Wishing for a brighter future. Glory on the battlefield. Abandon hope of loved ones returning home. Beep beep. So this was the guy that was keeping the wishes. It's possible that Patty's memory is overloaded with wishes, leading to anomalies mixed within. Wishes. Analyzing cause. 21 solutions have been provided. Correction. 12. Correction. 4. Wishes. And solutions? Could this relate to what Chisha said about someone at Moon Tree Lodge? making wishes come true and Xiang Li Yao the name sounds familiar does it perhaps connected to his terminal isolating abnormal data running data correction there give it another go patty performing onboard diagnostics all systems normal patty feels full that should do the trick for now where could the anomalies have... I apologize for keeping you waiting. Okay. It's just a temporary measure. I'll need to conduct a thorough examination later. Thank you for returning him to me. And you are? <laughs> Apologies. I haven't even introduced myself yet. Xiang Li Yao. A pleasure to meet you. I regret that I was away during your first visit to the academy, but I'm glad to finally have the chance to meet you. Surprise, so Shang Li, like the girl with Goba <laughs> in Genshin. No, uh, her name was like longer than Shang Li. Is there someone who's named Shang Li? That name looks familiar. Thanks for I help. I merely provided a few ideas, but. I'm glad I was able to help. Ah, oh, so he was, I was that guy. The of development I see. The surveillance tower. By the time I returned to the lab, you'd already left. The next time I heard any news about you was regarding the battle of the Norfolk Barons. This year's Norfolk Barons aware only have proceeded thanks to your efforts. Well, come to think of it, I should be thanking you personally. The Moon Tree Lodge wouldn't have opened as planned if it weren't for you. Hey, you're the mysterious hero granting wishes. This place is yours. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep asking. I'm afraid I'm not the owner of the Moon Tree Lodge. I'm just here to assist. Collecting. 
and trying to fulfill everyone's wishes. However, I do hope you can keep that between us. Your secret is safe with me. Yes. Thank you for understanding. Seeing everyone's wishes come true and everyone enjoying the festival is enough for me. Fulfilling wishes. Happy. What will you taste like? Important guest. So you eat me? Apologies. Patty doesn't mean anything strange by that. Patty was born in the Moon Tree Lodge. It deciphers the emotions behind wishes, analyzing their structure in a unique way. To Patty, every wish has a unique taste. You can think of it as Patty's way of understanding the world. Besides bringing Patty back, I presume you're here to make a wish as well? Yep. In that case, may I suggest we head over to the wishing stall for a chat? It's not far from here. Or a chat. Wait, why didn't we go here in the first place? Because we found the robot. That's right. Welcome. I, I wish I could extend a warmer greeting, but Patty has run into some technical difficulties. We cannot accept new wishes at Moon Tree Lodge until I resolve the issue. I apologize for the inconvenience. I would be glad to take note of your wish and have it prioritized once everything is resolved. Or everyone wishes to come to. How intriguing. In that case. I promise to do everything I can to make your wish a reality at the festival. For now, I must concentrate on restoring the Moon Tree Lodge as quickly as possible. In a nutshell, What's wrong? it appears Patty's malfunction is more than a straightforward data error. At first, I suspected an overload of Patty's analysis module due to an accumulation of wishes over the years. However, during my recent testing, I discovered unusual codes embedded within Patty's database. Like a virus, they spread drastically with the addition of each wish. Additionally, although it was only for a brief moment, I detected abnormal frequency fluctuations after connecting Patty to my terminal. In theory, a robot's data should not generate such fluctuations. The wishes. It's too early to draw a conclusion just yet, but I can't leave the matter unresolved. It'll only be a matter of time before all the wishes stored in the Moon Tree Lodge are devoured by this abnormal code. He pulls out a tablet. And you four indecipherable something. Why is it all gibberish? I've isolated the four wishes with unreadable codes pinpointing the source of the discrepancies. I plan to track down whoever made these wishes, try to fulfill them, and uncover the root cause of these anomalies. But before that, I need to try to decode the wishes corrupted by these anomalies. To minimize data loss, it would be best to complete this a week before the Moon Chasing Festival. With careful planning, it does have its challenges. Hey, I guess I'll join everyone's you. Everyone's hopes and dreams for the festival are in these wishes. Yes, Yang Yang and the rest have set their hearts on this festival. I appreciate Hello. the gesture, but I wouldn't want to trouble you. I don't know people losing their wishes. I see. Thank you. Well then, the moon tree Yes, Lodge another Lodge faction. Newest member. Seems we have a new friend now. Our next patch will be you. The Black Shores. Yes, the lodge opens to the public before the Moonlit Fair, but it still remains an important element of the festivities. The market vendors like to tailor their offerings according to everyone's wishes. There will be many interesting activities on the day of the fair, and preparations are well underway. Perhaps some of your friends will be among those attending. If you're interested, you can go and take a look yourself. Thanks. I will. I 
decode. Wow. I don't try it. Um, hmm. <laughs> that's an interesting one. So how are we going to take care of that? The Academy. <sighs> Initiating analysis. This individual wishes to disappear from this world. Indicating a desire to terminate their existence and for all associated social connections to be erased. Okay, I don't know if we need a clarification on that, but okay. Feasibility, 0%. Causing physical harm or manipulating human memories are actions strictly prohibited. And this is? Uh, this is Shang Li, Patty's work buddy. Patty gathers and analyzes the wishes and Shang Li helps make them become a reality. Very much up to the task. You have a good eye. Shang Li is indeed a very reliable companion. Analysis conclusion. The wish exhibits strong self-denial and self-destructive tendencies indicating a high level of danger. Prompt physical care and psychological intervention are advised. Patty does not understand this wish. Patty does not, cannot hurt humans. Just as I've suspected. This is the reason why this wish failed to be interpreted. The desire to disappear directly conflicts with Patty's underlying logic of not being able to harm humans. E. Written words are different from data. Data represent precise and unified content, while words may harbor meanings deeper than they seem on the surface. It is often the case that words spoken aloud sometimes contradict our innermost thoughts. Will you just line for fun? Those cool. willing to entrust their wishes to the Moon Tree Lodge hope their desires will be chosen and fulfilled. This suggests that Xiao Sheng still hopes for his voice to be heard. This is just my personal belief, but I suspect he's not truly ready to give up. I think the thought pains him. Which means he's... He's calling for help. Yes, I believe that is the case. I want to uncover the true desire hidden in his wish and help him fulfill it. Will fulfilling his true wish help to ease his suffering? Yes, I hope it will. I feel like my de debut task. We should start by locating the Wisher. If I recall correctly, there is no Xiao Sheng at the Academy, so it's likely a pseudonym. Fortunately, we know that he's a researcher, so it shouldn't be too difficult for us to find him. And this paper, it's from a type of notebook commonly used at the Academy. There are faint traces of another type of writing on it. Seems to be some kind of code. I'll decipher these codes, and then we can... Uh, oh, uh, excuse me. Investigator Shang Li, we have a problem. We've got trouble in the lab. But they've used this voice actor Project so much. Forty-nine's core has gone out of control. Emergency protocols failed, and it's overheating as we speak. There's some different guy. Down the lab, I'm on know. my way. What about the experiment locks? Already sent to your terminal, sir. All right. Tell everyone to stay calm. We still have time. What just happened? There's been a momentary setback in the research. I need to handle it right away. I'm afraid I'll have to leave the task of finding Xiao Sheng to you. Yeah. Thank you. I'll meet up with you as soon as I have the issue resolved. Here, take Xiang Li with you to help with the investigation. Robot.
I already have a few speculations as to the contents of the code. I'll call you once it's confirmed. Good luck, my friend. Okay. Wait, it's her? <laughs> Alert! The person ahead is confirmed to possess information related to Xiaosheng. Uh -huh. Based on the writing style, paragraphing habits, and content of the wish, it can be inferred that Xiaosheng is likely introverted and may exhibit nervousness in public settings. Difficulty in communication. Oh, so she wants to fucking end it. That's crazy. Activities. These characteristics match this individual's behavior. A definitive conclusion cannot be drawn. Master requests that Shang Li avoid making judgments about humans solely based on their external appearances. According to my data analysis, there is a 25.4% correlation between these two individuals. Shang Li proposes you make the decision on whether to proceed. What to ask? Hello. Apparently, like, the animations are so good, man. Actually, this is like what I missed when I was playing Two Point Four on Kaisaru. Would it feel weird to ask if I could do a sketch of it? I'll just do it at a distance once they've walked away. Sure. Hello. Hold up, I need to cook some screenshots. Analyzing yeah, lovely weather. weather. Detecting a rapid increase in air humidity and a significant drop in air pressure. What does that even mean? Data suggests rainfall should be expected within the next few hours, covering 60% of the Jinjo area. Well, good job making her feel um, good, I guess. Uh, that's right. The weather isn't actually all that great. I didn't realize. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't think you mean anything bad. I'm just not very good at talking to strangers. That's all. This is my name. Um, nice to meet you. I, yeah. What were you doing just now? Uh, me? But this game looks so good, man. Ah, <laughs> this is my painting scroll. I'm searching for inspiration for my next painting. Am I not allowed to do that here? I'm so sorry. I'll leave right away. A chill, man. Verifying rules and regulations. There is currently no prohibition on painting or photography in this area. You may rest assured, ma'am. Ma'am, so you're a painter. A painter? Oh no 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 no! It's just a hobby. Um, excuse me, but 
but is something wrong? Actually looking for someone. Hopefully she's not like someone who goes an Austrian painter. Maybe a shy researcher? I've never heard of anyone by that name. Sorry I couldn't help. I, I don't have a wide social circle. Mostly just my painting clients. But Her eyes are like... I do. Thanks. You're welcome. I, uh... I'll be on my way then. Goodbye. Oh my god. What is happening? Good one. <laughs> ah, that was actually funny. I'll give it to them. It's not like she has anything to do with the wish. Affirmative. The individual showed no signs of abnormalities when mentioning the name Xiaosheng. Let's keep asking. Might as well ask another researcher. <laughs> Bro, that, was, that was an actual good one. <laughs> individual meeting search criteria. Analyzing target identity. Researcher of the Department of Laboratory Evaluation. Huashu Academy. Suggested topics of inquiry. Xiaosheng or work stress. Work stress? I remember short, when discussing heavier topics, I will employ a light and humorous inquiry method. I remember I did that once. But I don't know if I was walking backwards, because I channel my friends or not. Been tossing and turning all week. Can't switch off these thoughts at night. I can't take it any longer. Been scrolling through the forums lately? There's this thing blowing up called Nighttime Blue Syndrome on the Hawashu Hive. Definition of noun. Nighttime Blues Syndrome. A popular term used to describe the state of today's youth that have lost their enthusiasm towards life due to excessive work and life stress. Symptoms include avoiding social engagements, reluctance to work, insomnia, and signs of depression. Further analysis reveals an 87. Damn, that just sounds like me on a good day. Damn. Between the syndrome traits and the emotional state of Xiaosheng, inferred from the wish made at the time. A few colleagues from other departments even used it as an excuse to ask for leave yesterday. They wrote, The world is such a wonderful place, filled with different kinds of sadness to experience each day. Ugh, lucky bastards. Taking time okay. off whenever they want. And look at us, sweating bullets over research with no results in sight. How are we supposed to sleep? Is that the latest thing? You know, I don't usually visit those forums, but all well, this term, maybe it's because everyone's feeling the pressure lately. Relax, take some time off. You can leave the rest of your work to me. Don't let it get into your head. Smile, and everything will be a-okay. Hm. You sure are optimistic at a time like this. Anyway, I really need to pass out for a while. She's all yours. Well, like, uh, he, hello. We're just she was just hating on people that were like that. Conversation the whole time. Anything I can help you with? Wait a second, it's you, isn't it? The one who sucked in a tacit discord with your bare hands. I didn't expect to meet you at a place like this. Are you here for something? Is it about the monsters, or, or maybe? Uh, no, never mind. Xiao Sheng, pretty average name if you ask me, but I've never heard of anyone with that name at the academy. Uh, uh, maybe I can help you find him. Searching nighttime blues syndrome and Xiao Sheng as keywords. Search results consist of forum posts made under the username Xiao Sheng. Wait a minute. Analyzing someone's online behavior without their consent is a violation of robotics protocols. Searching protocol confirmed. Violation of protocol detected. Shangli, I'm sorry. Initiating self-destruct sequence. Apologies. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, its creator gave it some good features. It's fine. 
But do you mind me asking, why are you looking for Xiao Sheng in the first place? This question involves the individual's privacy. I understand. Uh, speaking of which, this robot looks rather familiar. I see. Well, I heard that wishes made at the Moon Tree Lodge tend to come true. I was thinking of trying it out myself at some point. Hmm. It's almost time to set up the centrifuge. Just go. No information was obtained regarding Xiao Sheng's identity. Yes, we can always check the forums for any updates later. Now then, let's try our luck somewhere else. Let's go. Attention. During our conversation with Shifan, another researcher was detected within close proximity. The individual has been eavesdropping on our conversation up until this moment. No way. Wait a minute. Uploading the researcher's location to your terminal. Finally, some useful information for once. Cheng Li is always useful. Oh, you found me. I was just about to come talk to you anyway. And this game sounds depressed. You were eavesdropping on our conversation. Please explain your behavior. Sorry about that, but but I had a good reason for doing it. You want to help him fulfill the wish he submitted with a pseudonym, but you don't know his real identity. Well, okay. It's obvious just by looking at the two of you. That robot you have there is from the Moon Tree Lodge. My name is Zhou Li. Xiao Sheng's my friend, and I know who he really is. And as a matter of fact, you've already met him. No, it's Shifan. Oh. He probably realized who you were as well. Explains why he made up an excuse and left in a hurry. I was just as surprised as you were when I first found out that Xiao Sheng was actually Shifan. He's always been the center of attention. Easy going, always fitting in effortlessly. But at some point in time, he, he started writing these negative posts on the forums. It didn't take me long to figure out Xiao Sheng was him. I know his writing style too well. Every time I asked him, he'd, he'd like that. wriggle his way out of it. And... He started distancing himself from me, and even transferred himself to another project team. You afraid? What's up? Yeah, pretty good. No, oh, that's from an accident during an experiment involving echoes a while back. It wasn't too bad, but it did leave a few symptoms. I haven't been able to operate any precision instruments since then. At first, I thought that maybe Shifan started distancing himself from me because... I couldn't continue to work on his project anymore. But deep down, I knew he was not that kind of person. From the UK? So, I have a request. I want to know what kind of wish he made, and if possible, I want to help make it come true. I want to know what happened to him. The integrity of Joe Lee's information is estimated to be at around 99%. In Okay, nice. So that's how it is. Is he blaming himself for my injury? But that's not true. I've never felt that way. He wrote that wish, but he's still the man he was before. He still smiles and comforts others and helps people whenever they're in a difficult spot. Um, you know, it's not nice to ask people their age, but I am 23. Which <laughs> makes me feel even more worried for him. To respond. Thank you for telling me all this. I'm afraid Shifan and I aren't on talking terms at the moment, but maybe he'll listen to you. He's been fascinated by echoes ever since he was a child. Echo related research was all he'd been working on before he left our project. He loves echoes so much, and now he's given up on it completely. And I think this might be a good place to start to have him open up to you. Please, cool. if you find out what his wish is, be sure to let me know. things on your end transferring progress log transfer complete fantastic 
it appears everything has been going smoothly. Long story short, I've managed to decipher the code from earlier. It's Echoes. The code mentions three Echo sample datasets Shifan once needed for his research. According to the Academy's archives, his research partner, Joe Lee, had an accident while searching for these Echoes. Shifan shut down the project shortly after. I hope this data can be of help to you. Once I've wrapped up here at the Academy, I'll meet you as soon as I can. Well then, it's time to look for some echoes. Yeah, go for it. Okay, let's go. The like glide all the way there? Maybe. Oh my! <laughs> I'm going to press pace. Guests of the uncut. Take four. My blade. Uh, it's the painting. It's a, a new technique. It's a heavy attack. That's an E. I'm confused. I don't know if she works just yet. Beep, beep. All target echoes acquired. Task complete. Well done. Um, no, that's right. But thanks for asking, though, Freya. I'm not looking for any of that right now. I knew you could do it. Transmission is normal? Yes, that's everything. It's one of Shan Li's features. I can join you on your travels this way. I'll remotely control Shang Li, ensuring our audio, visual, and movement modules are in sync to keep our communications seamless. It's our quickest way to connect. Let me check something quickly. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Your minions. Cool. Plus, I suspect Shifan might find it difficult to open up in front of a colleague from the Academy. At the robot on its head. Oh. You can feel the touch? Not necessarily. No. What's going on? <laughs> so, without further ado, let's be on our way. I'm sure I will be a glad that robot touched me, but not a robot. <laughs> Big cutscene. You're back again. Uh, no luck finding Xiao Shang. No, no. What do you mean? This, this is echo testing data. What are you planning on doing with? Wait, where did you get this data? Have my ways. The rover are researching echoes, but have hit a dead end. They heard that Mr. Shifan is an expert in this particular field and are seeking his help. That was a long time ago. Oh, very well. What do you want to know? So we're gonna like try to reignite his passion, I guess. The data you gave me is packed with motion values. I would start by understanding how the echo adapts to different geographies. And these numbers... 
If we cross-reference them with standard values, the fitting coefficient nearly hits one. It looks like your model's direction might be on track. Oh, the more I look at this data, the more I think, had it reached me earlier, things might have been different. This data, how much do you want for it? I'll pay anything. No, even with this, I can't do it on my own. What, what do you mean? You have always had regrets, both for your friend and for your Echo research. I like how this guy is doing the I, robot voice. I don't get your meaning. There was a serious accident during the experiment, and I was the one who shut it down. How could I... I like this guy's voice. She fun. <laughs> we are not denying it. We saw the wish you made at the Moon Tree Lodge, but it seems that may not be what you truly wish for. Your true wish is to continue your research of Echoes with the one and only friend who understands your passion. Is this correct? <laughs> I never thought my wish would actually be hurt. You're right. I am Xiao Sheng, the loser who spends his nights complaining in bed, a washed up expert. I worked hard to get myself into the academy. My best friend was a real genius, and I was just an ordinary person who had to work my ass off in order to catch up with him. We promised. Oh, to there, I like that they're using like I always believe bad words, I guess. I don't know. Results. Maybe even I this game's like also 12 plus, right? Or is it 16 plus? Due to my carelessness, he lost his chance to walk through that door completely. Yet, my stubbornness in continuing the experiment without adequate samples led to irreversible harm to my friend. I chose to continue the testing. That's why he missed the window for treatment. Not once did I visit him during the final test periods. And I was the only one left on the project. It wasn't a surprise the experiment failed in the end. It wasn't until I sat alone in the empty lab that I realized. Maybe everything I sacrificed, even my friend's future, was all for nothing. I had hurt my friend, given up on a career, and worked on something I wasn't actually interested in. But when I lie in bed awake at night, I feel regret all over again. I know I can't give up Echo Research. My obsession torments me, but I don't deserve to pursue it anymore. Oh, obsession. Damn. I've heard enough! Slap him. Oh, that's... Okay. And boys will be boys, I guess. Pull yourself together already! Jolie, where did you... I'll tell you right now. I never blamed you for what happened. I felt the same as you right from the start. On our path of pursuing new discoveries, I was willing to pay any price. But... Why is this like more emotional than like anything that's happened in this game so far? <laughs> I'm not done yet. <laughs> uh, okay. It blows my mind that this is why you stopped talking to me. While I'm at it, you haven't changed a bit since we were kids. You get in the habit of running away from any problems you face that are non-research related. The music is on point. The voice acting is on point. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry. NPCs out here, bro, doing God's work. It is wonderful to have someone to support you on the journey to achieve greatness in research. It seems even without our help, this wish has been fulfilled. This yes. turn indicates that Shaosheng's wish is not the source of the abnormal codes. Three more wishes to go. <laughs> yes, there are more wishes to decipher. Now, we should make our way back to the Moon Tree Lodge. Hello, teleport me. No. Hello. I hope you've been well. Remember how I mentioned that the stall vendors at the Moonlit Fair will adjust their offerings based on everyone's wishes? Based on the wishes we've received so far, I've thought of a few excellent themes. Maybe we can start preparing for them. Sure. Wait, can I teleport? Yes! There's a TP in the village! Oh my god, finally. This like Loki changes everything. And now let's continue.
Another one, eh? Their questions might not reflect their deepest wishes. And it's not our place to answer them. But they both wanted help. So aside from helping her make a choice, there are other factors we must consider. Indeed, the wish shows a struggle between her longing and a promise she made to her son. She speaks of another world, likely hinting her child has passed away, leaving her alone with nobody to care for her. We can't draw a conclusion solely based on words alone. I'm curious as to what drove her to write these words. Her Ing and her son. What's their story? What, what is it? Is there something on your mind? No, nothing. It's just that... Is it really for us to take on a wish tied to life and death? She knows the pain of separation from a loved one better than anyone else. If we handle this wrong, it might... So that's what you're worried about. It seems what Bai just said about you is true. <laughs> Ever thought about becoming the mysterious wish granter of Moon Tree Lodge yourself? You're right to be concerned, but... The Moon Tree Lodge's very existence is to have every wish be heard. Ignoring it's crazy that this guy is the guy running this whole thing. Besides, we're not trying to force Mrs. Herring to make a choice. Our role is to listen, understand, and reflect. But it's getting late. Let me know when you're ready for our next task. Let's go. Oh, going to this village. Wow. Make it fast. <sighs> Excuse me? You must be Mrs. Herting? Happy Moon Chasing Festival. Oh, hello. Happy Moon Chasing Festival. Who might you be? My name is Xiang Li Yao, and this is the rover. I apologize for the unannounced visit, ma'am. Rover? Rover? Why does that sound so familiar? Oh, I remember now. You're the hero of Jinzhou, aren't you? My thanks to you. You've realized my son's vision. Since he was little, my boy dreamed of shielding me and all of Jinjo. He'd always say, I'll conquer the Thranodian one day so everyone can live peacefully. Huh, yes. I always had faith that my son would achieve his dreams. Once, he and some rangers stayed behind during a mission to give folks like me a chance to flee. I know he did it to chase his dreams, but... I just... Oh. We used to celebrate every moon-chasing festival at the stalls. And he'd make wishes at the Moon Tree Lodge. His mischief sometimes tried my patience. But now... The silence is overwhelming. But before he left... Thanks. He made me Jeez. to be witness to the day the Thranodians are finally gone. Oh dear. I've rambled on about my boy again. Do you remember the wish you made at the Moon Tree Lodge, Mrs. Herting? Well, of course. I do. Everyone knows the Moon Tree Lodge has magical powers. You granted his wish beautifully. I trust you might do the same for mine. Though, really, I have nothing much left to ask for. As I've mentioned in my wish, I find myself at a crossroads, unable to decide. When deciding your answer... Oh, yes, absolutely. Mrs. Her Ing, might you consider a visit to the lodge with us? The Taoyuan Vale is preparing for the moonlit fair, and the atmosphere is quite lively. A walk? Oh, my heart hasn't really been in it since I lost my son. And, well, my legs don't carry me as well as they used to. Well, okay. If you think it might help find the answers, then perhaps we should try. 
Okay, let's go. No, we're getting teleported. Wow. What was that about? <laughs> it was just a little trick to get Mrs. Herting to join us at the lodge. The promise between Mrs. Herting and her son wasn't just about seeing his wish granted, but about finding peace in her life. In her grief, Mrs. Herting overlooked what her son truly wished for. I believe he wanted her to see Jinjo uniting to defeat the Thronodian and the joy and security he sacrificed himself to safeguard. His wish for his mother represents not just life's simple joys, but also the courage to keep living. Though I can't say for certain, the moonlit fair in Taoyuan Vale holds the dreams of many. Perhaps there's something her son wanted her to see, a reason to embrace life. Oh, how are you youngsters falling behind an old lady? Got up. Just change it beyond the back. Make it fast. <clears throat> this year's moon chasing festival sure is lively. Indeed it is. Look at the crowd. You young folks must be thrilled with all this. Mrs. Hutting has been doing her best to stay cheerful since we arrived at Taoyuan Vale. Happy Moon, this one is exquisite. You have excellent taste, Mum. The fireworks seem to fly to the other side of the fan. Ah, yes. They represent the Midnight Rangers. She hopes that everyone who sees this fan will feel the liveliness of the Moon Chasing Festival. The fireworks flying to the other side are meant to share the celebration with the soldiers on the front lines. This year's fireworks display will be the biggest yet. Even if I'd like to buy oh, can I skip She bought a fan. This is some intense storying. Oh my. Taoyuan Vale hasn't been this busy. That's what I'm saying. I wonder if this place is gonna stay. The fuck? Stay here forever. What's happening? Ah, the Moon Shooter Gallery. This is her. <clears throat> Happy Moon Chasing Festival, everyone. Want to give the Moon Shooter game a try? L Count me in. <sighs> Why does it take like some time to like allow you to move your mouse? Shooting skills. Here are your prizes. These prizes? Did you make them yourself? That's right. The Moonlit Fair is about community, so we thought practical items would be more meaningful. A yeah. ranger instructor taught us how to make them. Even though he's no longer with us, his instructions and methods continue to guide us. These tools were a great help when we first joined the Rangers. Please take them, Mrs. Herring. I'm sure Shoyuan would want you to have them. Oh, was that Captain? And you are... You might not remember, but after Shoyuan passed, I tried to visit you. You didn't want to see me then. It's good to see you out and about. Shoyuan always talked about how good a mother you were. By the way, some of the soldiers who served with Shoyuan are here today. I'm... It's an honor to finally meet you, Mrs. Herring. Shoyuan was an incredible mentor to me. I wouldn't have the nerve to wield a weapon now if it wasn't for him. I heard you were the one who taught him how to overcome his fear of the water. So, the boy taught you everything I taught him. Mrs. Herring? Mrs. Herring? Oh, I'm still here. Please, go on. Of course, ma'am. Why don't we go have a seat over there first? Before that, thank you, Shangli Yao and Rover. Just as I said before, 
I knew that both of you would make my wish come true. But before I visit the Moon Tree Lodge for the answer... I trust that this answer will be right for you. Yes. Thank you, both. Do you right. think Mrs. Hutting understood the promise she made to her son? We can't be sure just yet. Now she isn't just going along with us. I believe she'll uncover her answer someday and make her own choice. But it means this wasn't the wish affecting Patty either. At any rate, more stalls are being set up in Taoyuan Vale. Yay! Oh, that's like... How was that worse than the previous story? Yeah, that was crazy. Well, not worse, but just like, I don't care. Nice, that was a quick, short one. Okay, now. Let's do the third story. The third wish. Let's see what's written this time. <clears throat> hey, why did this one not like get glitched? Make it fast. Now we're not gonna talk to Zhang Liu Yao. Ugh, this again? There are way better ones. No way. We pinky sweared last time, remember? All right, all right. Let me think. Then let's do Deep Sea Rescue. That good enough for ya? Oh, I see what you're up to, Momo. So I'll still be the one getting whacked. <laughs> I'm gonna tell Mon if you keep doing this. Cha! You think telling Mon is gonna help you? <laughs> At least I won't get beat up by you all the time. Hey, where did this weird grown-up with a flying bunny come from? <laughs> Mon's not here. I'm in charge. Wanna play with us? Detected new name entry. Bunny. Processing speed increased to 150%. Pro ah! <laughs> it's, it's gonna blow! I'm here, don't worry. I'm overriding Shang Li's processor. Recorded. New name entry. Bunny. Phew! I almost... So... You're looking for Mom, huh? He's not here right now, but if it's important, you can tell me, and I'll pass it on to him. Word for word. Huh. Lee's being a show-off again. We haven't seen Mom for days. Not true. We're doing one of his favorite plays tomorrow. He'll definitely show up. We did a play yesterday, and one before that. Huh... <sighs> Oh, you suck, Momo! <laughs> well, we usually play together in the city or watch hero plays at the theater? Detected. Keyword, secret base. Mm, Mon says it's top secret and we can't tell anyone. Okay. What? Really? Um, he did mention before that there's this flame power growing inside of him. Well... I guess you don't look like a bad person, so... Okay. If you do find him, please don't tell him I told you about the secret base. Oh, oh, and remember to tell him to come back and play with us soon. Great. Now we're playing with children. Cool. Guests of the unkind. Right. 
Bro, Changli is so good at mining. Yeah, it's so easy. The caged bird now. Goodbye. No need to dwell on Whoa, that was rad. Um, thanks for saving me, miss. I, I, it's a secret. Well, you did just save me from that TD, so. All right, you can be the only grown up that I tell. <clears throat> I, Mon, am about to awaken my forte. Well, you know, in the hero plays, every great hero is a resonator with their own unique super cool forte. Some of them are born with it. And some have to journey to distant mountains and secret caves to train all alone. And then, after years of training, a tacit mark finally appears. That's why I've been eating all my veggies and going to bed early lately. I want to be ready to spend the whole day at this secret base. Training. I try to practice every move I can think of from the plays, hoping my forte will awaken soon. Um, not really. But I've come up with a new plan. You know how Flame Ranger gets stronger the more danger he's in? So I thought, why not find a scary monster and try to fight it? Uh, <laughs> That was an accident. If I'm going to be a great hero, I have to find an enemy that's even stronger than a TD. But, but, then you tell me. What should I do to awaken my forte? Absolutely. It's a must. Becoming a hero it's a must. means I can protect all my friends. None of us will ever need to be scared again. Besides, <laughs> being a hero is just the coolest. Every hero play all my friends cheer like crazy for Flame Ranger. If you know so much about it, then what should I do? Tell me, tell me! Oh, you sound like my mom. I do know a few warriors. What if I write down some of their quests and daring feats for you? Wow, really? Are they even more awesome than the heroes in the plays? When will you show me these stories? I want Lee and Momo to see them too. Time, location. Event notification, the Moonlit Fair. The Moonlit Fair, right in the middle of the festival? Thankfully, I've still got some time to get everything ready for Mon's wish before it starts. How about this? The Moonlit Fair on the day of the Moon Chasing Festival. I'll have the stories with me. Pinky promise. Yes! It's a pinky promise then! Can't wait to see you there! I love for story, I guess. God, I'm lucky. Fucking dead inside. Damn. And I will get this guy. I happen to catch the boy's wish. He aspires to heroism. His wish comes from a place of real valor and sincerity. However, he wishes to become a hero by awakening his forte. Awakening a forte is an intricate process. I must confess. The Academy's current research in this domain is rather limited. If we are to approach it from this angle, I'm afraid I may not be able to help the boy much. At least... I concur. Thinking back on a few scenes from the hero plays, courage, perseverance, and support from his companions were all indispensable elements. Your idea of finding a real-life role model to show the boy a more grounded version of heroism. So, have you decided who this hero should be? I mean, but Jen is like... Jin Chi? Fine suggestion. I have always admired. Yeah, I mean, Jen is the <laughs> hero, I guess. Any form of recording involving the Midnight Rangers would require prior clearance. Actually, the person I have in mind embodies courage, perseverance, and leadership with steadfast companions who would stand by her. 
There's no need to look far. You are the most suitable candidate. Me? No. Your actions alone in saving Jin Zhou have earned you the title of hero. A true hero is defined not by grand gestures, but by their actions. Authenticity is key. Just chronicle your daily life and let your true self shine through. The Pangu Terminal can record your daily activities. Before you begin, I'll make some enhancements to provide you with additional assistance. Thank you for your hard work so far. It... The Moonlit Fair is approaching. I hope that all the wishes in the Moon Tree Lodge will soon come true. Okay. I guess we're going here next. Hello? What's up, Chisha? Hey, Rover! You've been to the wishing tree, right? Did it come true? Oh, wait, it can't be that fast. Just leave it here, Chisya. Gotcha. Still busy with the preparation? Almost finished. You hear the buzz from our side? Need to double check the procedure. Indeed. It's funny. Everyone's really giving their all for this year's moon chasing festival. Oh, and the Loom Dance performance is happening tonight. Come and watch it with us, Rover. I've secured the best seats. Hooray! That settled then. We'll be waiting for you then. Before we hang up, anything you want to say to Rover, Ying Yang? Me? Uh, but I'm not ready. Okay, um. How are you doing today, Rover? I'm looking forward to enjoying the moonlit fair with you tonight. And you, Baja? Uh, please, come early if possible. People have been preparing for the Moonlit Fair for many weeks. I just send the coordinates to your terminal. See you there! <laughs> Get ready to be blown away! Oh. Hmm? Are, are we not going to that restaurant then? Let's eat there with Yang Yang and the others later. Yeah! They smell something delicious! Isn't that... Hello, Rover. Can you come to the Moon Tree Lodge? Hey! You done deciphering that fourth wish? Yes. As I suspected, Patty's malfunction was caused by something else. Understood. I'll be right there. Thank you. I'll see you in the usual spot. Hmm. More trouble to solve, eh? <laughs> Wait. Didn't you... How many missions, man? Damn. Yang Yang, we let's go handle it quickly so we can still make it on time. Oh, struggling. Is this the usual spot? Thank you for coming, Rover. Is that the smell of Sonoro? Oh. Patty is now a portal to a Sonoro sphere. Its built up frequencies likely resonated with something and created this. Should we alert the Midnight Rangers? But then. Well, then people might think there's another TD outbreak. We'll handle it ourselves. Ah. You're already planning to do so, I can tell. <laughs> yes. I've thought it through. If the Sonoro is benign, we can all breathe a sigh of relief. And worst case scenario, if it turns malignant, you'll have no trouble handling it. I just didn't expect you to bring it up first. You hesitated because of the name Pascar? Yes. He was a close friend of mine. He died from the Waveworn. I think... If this Sonoro sphere is related to him... It must contain his messages for me. This is my personal request, Rover. Please help me. Sure thing. In fact, I'm also doing this for a personal reason. You are? I promised my friends we'd enjoy the Moonlit Fair together tonight. 
Can't let this incident ruin the festivity. <laughs> Thank you, Rover. Let's enter the Sonoro now. Yeah. A new puzzle. Loading screen. What's happening? It's simulating Patty's program. Well, like they say, you wouldn't know what's inside a Sonoro sphere until you're actually inside it. What's happening? God, the Sonoro is pushing us out! Rover, here! My hand! Chocolate Field, hate Huskar. The world hates Shanley Yo. Uh, Rover! What was that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank goodness you're awake. I'm glad the Sonoro didn't throw us out. But why us? Maybe it has something to do with that Pascar person? Anyway, we should find Shang Liao first. I don't care. Okay, well, I think I got the gist of it. Oops. Oh, sorry. We didn't mean to hit your door. Please don't blame our boss. No, no, no. It's my fault. It's okay. Uh, really? Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. What's your name? I'm Shang Li Yao. Shang Li Yao? Whoa. So you're that genius everyone's been talking about? Uh, <laughs> wow. I heard you've never been second to anyone in school. Mm-hmm. No way! I... Mm -hmm. That's amazing! Huh? Is that what they've been saying about me? You're so cool! Chill, boss. You're just like my big sis when she meets her idol. <sighs> Shush! <clears throat> Sorry. By the way, we're going to the Moonlit Fair. Are you... sure? <laughs> of course you can. The... Boss? Uh, yeah, like our leader. But that's not important. I... Uh, sorry. I think I'll stay at home. Your dad? The big inventor mentioned in the headlines? Said he's gone missing. Hey, shut up! Mm. We gotta go now. I don't like being alone. Anyway, we're here. When you need to chat or someone to hang out with. Okay. Oh, that looks like something from Xiang Li Yao's childhood. Maybe it's not just his memories. Wait! Where's the chests? We can go through that door now. Let's move! What is this place? A wishing stall? But the decorations don't match this year's theme. Touch anything or read anything here, like we did in the last room. There are some wish tags on the floor. Let's read them. Okay, well, they're on the table. Uh, okay. Hoping to be heard. Missing a departed son. Wanting to become a hero. There are two more wish tags. Oh, it worked. <laughs> Your intuition can be really sharp. Can't believe I actually got a zero. What a bummer. I'm not even in the mood for wishes now. Still upset about what happened in class? I mean, aren't we supposed to learn by doing? That's what we know next to nothing about the wave-worn phenomena, and our equipment is useless. <laughs> but how? Should we set up a lab by a wave-worn site like you said in class? But this is the martyrdom of science, the necessary sacrifice. Really? Do we have to risk it all? Of course! You want food, you pay. You want pay, you work. 
When the truth of this world, the ultimate knowledge, is on the line, one must be willing to give up everything they have. We'll discuss it later. Yeah. Modi and Ryan want to catch up. I have no time. You've been avoiding them since they failed the entrance exam. It's necessary. As intellectuals, we must walk a solitary path. Those who can't keep up will only hold us back. It's best to leave them behind sooner rather than later. Why would a genius like you Yikes. care about their feelings anyway? With your father as a role model, distraction should be beneath you. Come on, what if they drag you down? But I don't think we have to be lonely as intellectuals. Remember that old Boon Tree Lodge tale from a decade ago? But let's be real, there's gotta be a person running that show. Because when the word got out, it just stopped working. More wishes were made, but how many actually came true? See? Not even that unsung hero of the Lodge had time to grant every wish. Our time in this world is limited. So let's focus on the truth, not trivialities. <sighs> Trying to organize your arguments to refute me? You know, I only said that because I value you as my only friend and opponent. I just don't want you to get distracted. It's not satisfying to outdo someone when they're not at their best. Well, that's enough talk for today. I'll make my wish now. Let's see. Well, wishing tree, please make the wave worn happen. Then I can finally study it up close. <gasps> Pascar. <laughs> Chill, dude. Just kidding. As an intellectual, I must prioritize my pursuit of truth. Then, father, why did I find drive shafts of your design in the Moon Tree Lodge? You were never home during moon chasing festivals. If that's what you did, does it mean I don't really have to be alone? <sighs> what should I do? Hey, Shang Li! What are you doing there? Come on, we gotta go now. Okay. Hmm. The festival must mean something different to him. Is that a form of human connection, too? Sort of. Are we sharing that kind of connection right now? I'd say you've been haunting me. Like a ghost. True. Haunting? Huh, no way. Admit it. I'm just living rent free in your head. Sure, if you say so. Now, back to the topic. We've been seeing Pascar and Shang Li Yao's past exclusively so far. So? But why can't we get through the doors before Shang Li Yao opens them? Uh. Strange indeed. Or maybe he holds the key? Let's press on. We need to go deeper to uncover the truth. Hey, boy. Where? This room isn't empty. Our research has been great. With the progress we've made so far, we'll surely figure out the tacit fields one day. Well, we have Pascar and Shang Li Yao to thank. Yeah, where did Shang Li go? Mm, where did he go indeed? What's happening? End up another failed experiment this is pointless our research has been a waste of time we need shang li yao anymore it's over i'm useless nonsense it's all nonsense it's not me it's them no it's the world where is shang li yao
है We're out. But this new place looks even creepier. So tired. I want to disappear. Screw everything. Hey, ain't that the chiffon guy? Mm, he smells delicious. The others are probably no better than him. She's been affected, too. Uh, even that granny has gone crazy. Okay. <laughs> I'm the best! Watch me take out anything! Well, this one doesn't sound too depressing. But if it ever comes Please. true, I have a feeling it's gonna be hella dangerous. Hmm. I think I know who the remaining two will be. Science? doesn't exist we knew it we knew it right from the start and the worst part it's completely random we need more data how are we supposed to study the task field in this chaos i knew it we never have enough samples don't you try to stop me cowards you don't even have the guts to sacrifice for the truth you all despise me thinking i'll never surpass yang li yao right <laughs> If this were his idea, not a single one of you would object. Fine. I'll do it myself. <laughs> I did it! Now I'm just a heartbeat away from success. Stay back! Stay away from here! His wish achieved. He is not guilty. It must it trigger the wave worn. Tested field. Oh, he can't be serious. So he's gonna trigger the wave worn disaster like Pascar planned to? We shouldn't jump to conclusions yet. He's willing to go to great lengths for other people. My friend's quest for truth was genuine till his last breath. I will not let you tarnish his goal like that. Uh, it's Xiang Li Yao. <laughs> but it won't budge. Then I'll smash it open. Huh? By brute force? Okay. The innermost area of this Sonoro sphere. Sorry, Rover. I must go and face him myself. Stop hiding, Pascar. We can talk it out. Complete overhaul. I don't know what this guy does. Well, that was pretty cool. I wonder if he power critical char. Up. Uh, let's 
village. Disruption. Very. Confined within limits. Exploit. Reconfiguration. Okay. And there she is. Rover? What did I miss? Am I too late? No, you are right on time. Where's the guy going? Variable elimination. Swift and resolute. No hesitation. One with the sound. Moment of resonance. <laughs> My friend's quest for truth was genuine till his last breath. I will not let you tarnish his goal like that. So is the guy still alive or what? Stay back! Stay away from here! So confused. Loki. Again, I am not a ghost! The wave worn gobbled up and then spit out some weak frequencies. But this one smells strange. Askar, it's me, Xiang Li Yao. Do you recognize me? Stay back. The wave worn's coming. Huh? Didn't he set it off in the first place? Calm down. We are safe here. Nothing's happening to me. See? Xiang Li Yao? Yes, I'm listening. Bhaskar, what do you want me to know? I should have stayed at the academy. Shouldn't have taken anything without permission. But I did it. I figured it all out. The tacit field's frequency. Made a prototype detector, too. It predicts where the tacit fields are forming. I... I should have kept the documents. Should have informed you. I was thrilled. Blinded by the success. But then my prototype... Gone. Everything gone. The margin of error was... Too big. Not enough time. Not enough range. When I got there... The wave worn had already... Ah... Oh, I see. So the wave worn had... Devoured me. You saw me. Yes. Yes, I remember. It's all coming back to me now. I didn't trigger the wave worn. That's what I've been trying to tell you. And what else? Pen. Give me a pen. I must write down my research results. I must show you. I need a pen. Hurry. Pascar. I've been trying to tell you for so, so long. I just want to let you know. I identified the tacit field special frequency. I... I never hated you. I just... I wanted to save the world. It's all in vain. <laughs> Can't blame you. After what I said, of course you... No. Your sacrifice was not in vain. Your research has inspired many. Even attracting interest from the Black Shores, that mysterious organization. 
Even the Black Shores. Their faces couldn't hide the shock. We're still searching for a way to recreate your prototype, but the Pascar Spectrum theory has gained global recognition and is advancing tacit field research. Pascar... Spectrum? Yes, it's your theory. We named it after you. Our classmates and I, we found your notes after the Waveworn receded. After filling in the missing information, we restored this theory and named it after you. <laughs> really? Yes, and we all know it wasn't your fault. So, my research actually helped others? It did, and it will keep on benefiting people. <sighs> That's great to hear. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Please. Please witness the world we've protected. On my behalf. Damn. That's crazy. My wish has come true. Thank you, Wishing Tree. Rover, let's witness Pascar's wish together. When I'm older, I'll be the best scientist ever. Pascar, you've been here with us all along. Wow, so that's the real story. Or maybe... It's actually five. Five? <laughs> but we only have four wish tags here. That must be the exit. Let's get out of here first, Yao. Hey, what did you mean? <laughs> Tell me. Tell me. No chess? What? Where's the big ass chess, man? Anyway. Are you all right? It's not uncommon to feel a bit queasy after leaving a Sonaro sphere. Yeah, this is not the first time. I'm glad to hear that. Given the situation is now under control, it should be fine. You might need some time alone to process what just happened. Uh, don't worry about me, Rover. I can handle the rest myself. Go join the celebration down the mountain. Besides, I need some time to prepare a small gift for you as thanks. I'll... Uh, Catch up with you later. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Not a big chest. That's crazy. The obligatory big chest. Non existent. Oh, hey. Good to see you again. Thanks to you, Jolie and I can restart our tacit Discord research. Oh, we've been busy moving the equipment to our new lab. Uh, speaking of that, can you please clean your room? <sighs> Only been a few days and it's a mess already. I can't even get in, let alone find what I need. Have you seen Xiang Li Yao's room? It's a perfect example of order out of disorder. Exactly. The genius. That's what I'm saying. And you always find things no matter where I leave them. Matt, you know my room better than I do. Well, can't deny it. Are these guys like. Yeah. Our colleagues are sure you know? organized <laughs> this event called Swim, Gulp of Swim. We're here to show support. Plus, Shifan never misses tacit Discord events. <laughs> you know me. Jisho is interested in those monsters, too. Should we invite her to join our research? More brains, better ideas. Let's get the creative juices flowing. Thanks. Happy Moon Chasing Fest. Happy Moon Chasing Festival. Happy Moon Chasing Festival. Cool. So I guess we're going to chat to everyone, say goodbye to everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where's the old lady? Oh, it's the kids next. She's back. Well, uh, the Moonlit Fair was starting, but we saw you were busy with something else. So we we followed you up the mountain and saw you chatting with someone. And then, poof, you two just vanished into thin air. We tried to ask for help, but all we found was a rabbit robot. Mr. Rabbit said you're tough and we'll be okay. He mm -hmm. told us not to worry about you, but 
Come on, there's no way we wouldn't worry. How can people just disappear? Yeah, we had a plan. If anything went wrong, our boss and Momo would run super fast downhill to get help from the grown-ups. Yeah, I feel that nocturnal. I thought that with like the purple bird when I was farming for Calcharo. So the purple bird was so annoying. But I managed to get something in the end. And I'll keep watching in case anything goes down. My eyes don't miss a thing. <laughs> you're welcome. Since you're safe now, can you show us the hero play you mentioned earlier? And this was back when you could get purples as well. So that was fun. Oh yeah, that thing doesn't exist. I think I've only got on one since I was, I've been playing this game. But to be honest, since I got the one, I just gave up because I don't care about the substats. So yeah. Yeah, that's a rough one. His name sounds so familiar. Oh, I know. Grandpa told me you are the hero who saved Jinjo. That's awesome. No wonder you beat that monster with only a few moves. And the guy fighting with you is incredible. I want to be just like you. But I don't know how to use Forte or what it takes yep, to be a yep, hero. Yep, 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 yep. Huh? Despite wanting to go to the Moonlit Fair, you chose to well, hopefully get us in and protect us. And I remember I, I got it like randomly. I didn't even get it like on a farming session. It was like... I think I was doing like the weekly boss, and then I just got it. You walk the walk, sacrificing your own enjoyment for the sake of others. This is exactly what the Flame Ranger would do. I see. Yep. Uh, I get that. Are you saying that we are the Flame Rangers now? Sad times. Yes. With your swift feet and keen eyes. You'd make a formidable team, ready to face any challenge together, just like me and my mecha arm partner. So, you know, he does look cool I'm with a mecha arm. <laughs> Can't wait to and use him. My hero squad with Lee, Momo, and Mr. Rabbit. The Moon Tree Lodge really made my wish come true. <laughs> Thanks, Rover. Changi is pretty good. Where am I going? Oh my! Taoyuan Vale hasn't been this. It's like one ulti and one big heavy attack, I mean... and the turtle is dead. No rush, child. Take a breath. Yeah, to be honest, yeah, same. Back in the in the last tower, it was like Scar on the fire side and whatever else was on the Spectre side. I feel like Chengi was killing Scar faster than Jinshi was killing. So I don't know. It is a little bit weird, but she doesn't need. Well, I need Dancor because that's like the meta, right? Like her best partner. But what took you so long? Yeah, she does need like a actual best in slot character because right now she doesn't really have one. As a support or like as a main DPS or something. So that's why people are saying that. Just because she's kind of in a weird spot. Please have a bite, Mrs. Hoing. I made this myself, and this one's for you, Shang Yuan. Thank you, dear. Mr. Shou Yuan made this pastry for us during previous moon chasing festivals. Yes, I really liked it, so I asked him for the recipe. But my son never learned to cook. When did he make this for you? He learned it in the military. At first, the food he made was, well, average, but he got better over time. He could make a feast out of even the simplest ingredients. Cooking's not that hard. I can do it too. Shall I make a meal for you when I get some leave, Mrs. Herring?
Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, I wish I could try that, but never gone to Nancor. And I think it's okay that I didn't get there. I just if you use Changli with Vian then. That just wins. Thank you. Thank you. Or sometimes I use it with Gen Zen as well. But it's more like because Verena's on the other side and I have to use Gen Zen as a healer kind of thing. Okay, that's the old lady. Oh yeah, I got the C1 culture early as well. It's been pretty good. Until we go power crept. <clears throat> kind of weird. But yeah. You are... Oh, sorry. I couldn't see you. My glasses were smudged. Uh, yeah, she's she like Loki the best. Oh, are, are you still looking for that researcher named Xiao Sheng? I asked around, but no luck. I'm so sorry for being so useless. I, I can ask more people if you want. You can pick any of my paintings as an apology. Please choose one. I insist. I got lucky, I got her in 20 pools, so I'm out here living my best life. But yeah, I wanted her just because she's another 5 star support, so she's always going to be good. Probably. She's kind of like a power creep to Sanhua, kind of. So that's why she looked more interesting, because I do actually use Sanhua. So having a better version, never too bad. Really? Phew, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. I'm painting. Yeah, lots of people. I can see all of Tao Yuan Vale from here. Um, I guess it's everyone down there. I'm not good with people, but their smiles make me feel warm inside too. It's like when I pick up a paintbrush, the warmth just spreads through me. Yeah, Camellia. All of those, like, misinformation that she's coming 1.2. That was funny. And she's never coming 1.3, so we'll wait in, I guess. S stunning. No, you flatter me. It's not that good. Just average. Just average. I've heard that saying before. <clears throat> Sorry I kept you waiting, Rover. Yeah. Oh, don't remind me of Chang Li. I remember because like me and my friend were pulling at the same time. Because we were like meeting up. And he got her weapon in one temple. That was fun. I got in like 70 or something. No worries. Is Patty alright? I found some unusual frequencies inside its body. Not sure if that's the Sonorosphere's influence. Out of safety concerns, I locked it up for the time being. I literally want to punch him because that wasn't the first time he done that. Move me next to him either. But that was fun. I said, okay, so lucky. Normally I would, but not this time, because I promised you a gift. Oh, I didn't see that. Is that what the plan is? Here, please take this. I mean, it makes sense because, like, we're kind of done with Fall Long, right? Like, there's not a threat necessarily, so. Like, we're going to go to the Black Shores, and then. I guess just move on to the next region. <laughs> And that'll be I know it. you're going to the Moonlit Fair. Here's a camera to capture memories for you to keep.
Interesting. It can be. <laughs> Maybe I should include it in the employee handbook. <laughs> Not yet. That's why I'm about to write one. I couldn't have solved this so fast without you by my side. Those wishes were their cries for help. Someone had to act fast and save them, or there could have been severe consequences. Thanks to your help, people can see their wishes come true. Oh yeah, true actually. You're right. You point out could be Black Shores. Mm. I wonder what's happening in 1.3 then. Interesting. So we're gonna go to the Shorekeeper, see her and stuff like that. Maybe Shorekeeper is nothing to do with the Black Shores. To be shared by many more. I don't know. I don't really care that much to look at leaks of everything. In the end, the Moon Tree Lodge kept its promise to everyone, including Pascar. What about you? What is your wish? Oh, my wish. I haven't really thought about it in a while, but I may already know the answer to your question. True, true. It's the same reason I'm taking care of the Moon Tree Lodge. I want to follow in our pioneers' footsteps. Those who forsake everything in pursuit of truth, and those who dedicate their lives to the welfare of others. My parents each embodied one path. They were my role models, and I have strived to emulate them both. Their passing left me searching for answers, for a way to find balance between the two. That was why I inherited the Moon Tree Lodge. Still, I've often questioned, how closely should I follow my parents' paths? Should I abandon all social connections in pursuit of the elusive ultimate truth? Like in a certain story. But in the end, you didn't do that. No, I didn't. Because Pascar found me and brought me out of my room. Without him, I never would have known about my father's ties to the Moon Tree Lodge. When Pascar left the Academy, I considered going with him. Perhaps we are the same kind of people after all. I wanted to give up everything for the ultimate truth, but I still craved companionship. That's why I hesitated. Seeking truth can be futile. It's like constantly pushing a boulder uphill, only for the lament to send it back down every time. In this disaster-stricken world, our beliefs innovations even entire societies risk falling into oblivion in an instant still someone must push the boulder of curiosity and explore uncharted territories beyond that hill i've longed to push that boulder rover perhaps one day i'll give in to the urge even if it means leaving everything behind but not yet because it's there hard to resist the temptation when truth feels so close almost within reach i've been trying to tell you for so so long it's all right you can venture as far as you need to you will always return to open arms from who <laughs> the way you've always tried to clear pascar's name how he's done his utmost to tell you the truth that's what we call a human connection. That's why your memory worked as a key in the Sonaro sphere. Have more faith in humanity. The hero who pushed the boulder of truth for us all will be remembered. And the bond between people will endure. Because we are here for you. Always. Hey! Over here! Nope. Your friends are calling out to you. I guess our date is over. Unlucky Yang Li. Better luck next time. But Yang Yang is more important. Yo. 
They say the moon chasing festival is a time for reunions? Traditionally, yes. Come with me then. It's not a reunion when you're left alone. Uh, but I... You have a promise to keep, remember? Thank you, my friend. Please. Please witness the world we've protected. On my behalf. <laughs> yes, I do. What's up with you two? Come on, let's go! The end. <sighs> Cutscene. Oh my god. The turtle going crazy. The answer, friend, maybe? Oh, there you are. <laughs> you done? Well, let me see. Bro, Baisha in a cutscene. That's what you want. Baisha actually smiled. She really should smile more often. Painting. Huh? What's that? Let's go check it out. Painting. I'm awake. The goat. <laughs> no, actually, Angkor is the goat. To be honest. It's about time. Behold, the Moonlit Fair's final show. That's the Moon Lantern. Oh, she was locked in. Oh, technology is crazy nowadays, eh? Jeez. Oh, it's even making wind. Oh yeah, the whole squad. I wonder if this translates to like a actual like holiday in China or something. Like that's happening like right now. Or if it's just like some random like celebration that they done in game. To fill in some time. just there <laughs> oh, that's kind of random no <laughs> nice no lord of the rings reference don't remember that uh those movies so i didn't catch that it's been like a million years since i watched them and their wishing tree together to show the festive atmosphere ideally with the moon in the background Ugh. 
Should I find another spot to paint? With these requirements, the composition isn't right either. Oh, sorry. Uh, are you talking to me? Yeah. Sorry. I didn't notice you there just now. So the rover remembers me? But wait, did I tell her my name? We've only met once, so it's natural if she can't remember me. Should I introduce myself one more time? I should do something so it doesn't get awkward, right? Ugh, what to do? I... Y yes, I'm Jeju. You got my name right. I'm never gonna say that name. Oh, thank goodness. She didn't forget me. you too you said you go by the name rover no the artists of huang long have requested a painting for the moon chasing festival and i'm still searching for inspiration it's been a bit of a struggle but i'll head back once it's done so good god crazy It's not that... Wait, is that the time already? That's... That's okay. I prefer quiet places. Plus, I live right here in Jingzhou, not too far away. Leaving her alone here doesn't sit right. Yikes. Really that hungry. Uh, <laughs> right. Try and take a screenshot, man. my painting you're right don't mind if I do so delicious it's almost as good as Uncle Lee's no it tastes even better with those extra seasonings I say the cooking riz. Oh, um, it was okay, I guess. Nothing much, really. <laughs> oh, should I be honest? No, no, I can't worry her. A little white lie won't hurt, right? Actually, I didn't get to enjoy it much. I've been swamped with tasks lately, and I had to help Michelle at her fan drawing stall. Sitting at the stall was exhausting. Just an hour there, and I think I need a day to recover. Anyway, I couldn't find anyone to go to the festival with me. I feel like I can't breathe in crowded places, but going alone also felt awkward. She crying, bro. Damn. Wait, did I just blurt out everything? Is it normal to spill my guts to someone I barely know? Weird. I'm not even feeling jittery. Am I always this awkward? 
Oh dear. Does she think I'm complaining? Am I coming across as too annoying? I, uh, I'm not saying I didn't have a good time. Thanks to the festival, I've had lots of work, and I got paid for looking after the stall. <gasps> I've made enough in just these few days to pay off three or four months of debt. You have debt? Jeez. What am I saying? This just makes me sound miserable. True. The two of us? Does that mean we're on a... No, no, no. I'd better stop here. What am I thinking? It's good. Just the two of us. Actually, it feels right. Is that easy, apparently? Good. Most of the stalls are closed. But we can still make wishes. This is... Not yet, but... I... Before I make a wish, Rover... Can I ask you a favor? Can, can, can I put you in my painting? You only need to stand there for 10 minutes. Or maybe five or three, I promise. I, I, I don't know. I just have this overwhelming urge. I want to include you in this painting. I feel like I need to... No, I want to! Okay. <laughs> She's actually gonna pay me like one of her French girls. That's crazy. about the painting I'm being paid to create. This painting, I want it to be just for myself. Okay, cool. Uh, not exactly. Thanks to you, every wish has been fulfilled. As for what I'm doing, I light and hang the fulfilled wishes. Then we can do it together next year. Most of the fulfilled wishes had already been put up during the festival. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I can handle the rest on my own. Yes, you deserve to have fun and rewind. As the festivities wind down, the moonlit fair stalls remain open. Having been to the fair every year, I always make time to explore the stalls that catch my interest. Stay with us in Jinzhou for a couple more years, then I'm sure you'll become very familiar with the fair too. <laughs> Indeed, I find joy in scientific research, but sometimes taking a break from work to join the jubilant crowd brings a different kind of joy. 
my favorite stall. Yes, I remember you seemed to enjoy it last time. With your exceptional and there's a combat, option for everyone, I, I guess. Good at shooting <laughs> this patch. Then, may I suggest something more challenging? A moon shooter is very popular. That's why we need to lower the muzzle a bit. Now, here's the exciting part. Rotate the gun slightly and align it with the rabbit's ear. Then, you may hit two targets simultaneously. It's all about finding the right angle and the bullet might rebound toward the next one. Yes, you'll need to use the right angle and utilize the momentum. It's kind of like stone skipping. I first tried it two years ago. They've been using my record as a promotional gimmick, offering an exclusive souvenir to anyone who can break it. Shit, this guy's W Riz. That's crazy. With the Rover as the new challenger, I may not hold that record for long. If I were to try that, I'd have to calculate the bullet trajectory to two decimal places, which technically isn't impossible with my prosthetic hand. But I'll probably get banned from ever playing again. Rover, I'll stick to using my left hand to keep it a safe and fair competition. <laughs> well, jokes aside, I value the process more than the outcome. After all, this isn't a scientific inquiry, and there's no end goal. <laughs> Glad we're on the same page. Uh, can I make a request then? Will you join me for next year's Moon Chasing Festival? <laughs> you heard me. The idea came to me as we gazed at the moon side by side. While I'm not sure where you'll be, or what you'll be doing then, I want to invite you anyway. I'm not planning to have you the, help me with the wishes. The simp baiting is crazy. Maybe we'll try another game of moon shooting or go sample some new treats at Yum Yum Haven. Though it's still a long time before next year's celebration, I can't help but imagine what we might do together. I don't have a specific plan yet, but with you, Rover, I have a feeling it's going to be fun. some ideas what why wouldn't I accept it <laughs> I see so this is the wish you made for next year's moon chasing festival as the caretaker of moon tree lodge in the xiang li yao I promise to make it come true. And there it is. Wow.